Now, James, everybody who saw us on Taskmaster knows we can be a bit competitive. So Listen. <laughs> I, it, it, that was not being competitive I just didn't like you <laughs> because there's an absolute difference <laughs> absolutely did my head in yeah. <laughs> awful man <laughs> absolutely awful human being don't, don't get me wrong it made for excellent television. I wouldn't have had it any other way. Go for Teddy Gold. Really, really sweet moment in Taskmaster, actually, is in the last episode what where happened? we all tell you you've done something really good. Uh, and we tell you it was really oh, great. I, I, imagine that turn, little... I imagine that turned around pretty quickly, didn't it? No, no, it didn't, actually. It was it was a genuinely genius thing you'd done to work out how to um, make sure Alex couldn't untie you at the end of a task. And you're like, ah, oh, I expect you're going to have a go at me now and yell at me. And we all go, no, Rod, that was brilliant. That was genius. And we just gave you a lot of compliments. And then the audience applaud it. And you do you do a little smile to yourself. And <laughs> the, the camera captures it. And you're just kind of looking like, oh. oh that's... <laughs> you look all kind of like pleasantly surprised, but quite happy. Yeah. And it's a really, really nice little moment. <laughs> and you go, wow, not many series of Taskmaster have a narrative arc across the whole series. <laughs> But this one, <laughs> it's really, you know. A little bit of self-acceptance at the end. Eh? A little bit of self, self-esteem at the end. Oh, a little bit of self-esteem for me at the end. Yeah. Is it? That's, that's so nice. I might watch Sounds that. Sounds good. What channel is it it's on? Nice. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, James is just about to launch into a, a Taskmaster a task flashback. I started remembering some of the stuff you did. <laughs> just started remembering it. A Taskmaster flashback. Do you still get flashbacks? Oh. Sometimes, I mean, yeah, I'm a big fan of the show. So sometimes I'll watch the show and I'll, you know, the, the new ones, I'll be thinking, oh, I wonder what I would do in that situation. And I'll, I'll be like, I oh, know, but he'd be there. <laughs> and uh, the, the one that I'm delighted, I'm delighted you did it because of it was very funny to watch on TV. But the day when you didn't help us out with the extension. Yeah. And you, and I didn't know until we were in the studio and they played back the footage that you'd opened the garage. <laughs> And seeing that it was full of building materials, and then you close the garage door, and instead you write. Now, let me ask you a question, Rod. Yeah, yeah. And be honest about this. <laughs> when you opened that garage door and you saw all that stuff, did you immediately think, oh, obviously we're meant to use that? No. But. You didn't even think that. No. Here's where my brain. You didn't think it will be funnier if yeah. I close the door and do this. No. No. You genuinely no. saw that, <laughs> and you thought nothing to see here. And you close the door again, and you write <laughs> on the door, "This is an extension instead." Yeah, I think when you hear my how innocent my brain was in that moment. Yes, I think I think you'll forgive me for some of my sins. I think I think, yeah, I well, think it'll take the sting out of it. I think I think this could be good therapy for you. I've definitely forgiven you for it because it was all very funny. But uh, <laughs> do you know what it was? I, I I would worry if you were truly innocent in that moment, <laughs> and none of that ever crossed your mind. I do worry that you've got that. some early onset kind of <laughs> <laughs> business going on. <laughs> this is what I, you, I think we saw. I mean, they didn't show some of the uh, some of some of the uh, things that, where my brain went to some very odd places sure. in those tasks. Because it does, because you're under pressure. Yeah. Alex is standing there with a stopwatch. You're panicking. I yeah. panic. I hear voices. <laughs> you, start, yeah. you start panicking and you do odd things. And, that's the, and that is the show. That is the joy yeah. of the show, of course. Um, and in that moment, particular one, with the extension, I can remember just thinking, I know what we do. I know what we do. We literally close the door and just write extension on this. And then that yeah. is our extension because it was an extension to the building. So, so I say, so I say, all we do is <laughs> formally title it extension, and that is our extension. And we've 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 made, we've got a perfectly ready-made extension. That's all it was. That's all it was. So that was so That's in it. your head That's that it. when you opened That's the garage and you saw that there were building <laughs> materials in there, yeah. you went, didn't think of nothing that. in here that I can write with. I'll close it again. No. Write on the door. <laughs> didn't think of that. I My... just I just thought, here's an extension ready made for us. If we just write extension on it, then we finished it off. Done. Yeah. Everybody's gonna they're gonna love me. I'm gonna be a hero for this. Didn't quite work. We out. um <laughs> my my nephews who are six and nine. Seven and nine now. Uh, they uh, during lockdown watched Taskmaster for the first time because there there was PG versions released. Oh right! But a lot of your 
antics still make it into the edit. And um, after they watched the, the very first episode of Taskmaster, they watched was our first episode. And they couldn't stop talking about Alex Horn's bum and that they couldn't believe they saw that man's bum for over a week. And they were so delighted every time they remembered it. And they would say, I can't believe we saw that man's oh. bottom. I can't believe it. It was great. They were so... Uh, and and I, I knew, you know, there's plenty more where that came from in the series, courtesy of yourself. So uh, I was like, they're going to love it. When he puts him at the top of a ladder, gets his ass out and sprays a bottle of water. Oh, is it not that? Asshole. Was it not that? Was it not that they were talking about? I assume no. They were... they were talking about when you whipped off his panties <laughs> in the first episode. Oh, I assumed they were talking about the water feature out the top of the uh, first episode where you, you put him in a bikini and then you <laughs> whip off his bikini bottoms, his panties. You could say, like, yeah, you call them panties out loud. Uh, you do tell him that you're gonna, you're gonna whip off his panties, and yeah, and Joe, you know what you got reprimanded for using that word then, but it hasn't I always you. get reprimanded. No, and it's never nobody can stop me. Nobody can stop. Nobody me. Can stop. I always get reprimanded. Nobody can stop me. <laughs> it's my life. What was I going to say? One thing we should address about Taskmaster. See, because I, I know, I know that, um, <laughs> I know that uh, there was debate. Wasn't there yes. in our series of Taskmaster about whether whether I was being favourably uh, marked by Greg because of our yeah. long-standing uh, friendship? Yes, and I didn't quite see it that way because I thought I got a feeling it was in episode one. There was a thing where we had to count the number of beans around the caravan, or how many beans you would yes. be able to if you if you lined beans up end to end. How, how mm. many would there be if you lined them around the perimeter of a caravan? Was that right? Yeah, that, yeah, right? yeah. And how I, many? Yes, right, and then. I think like I got it right or something, and I, but but they, they I was disqualified. Something they said it was beans, but they said yeah. the beans they they included the juice on the beans in the beans length, which which and I that was in epi see, episode one, yeah. and I think so I think I won it except that they then disqualified me because I'd counted a baked bean as not having juice on it, and they said the juice the tomato sauce on the bean was part of its length, which I still don't think is true. I think it's baked beans in tomato sauce, not not an integral part of the bean, and that yeah. I thought oh, okay this is how things are, is it? And I don't think you I so I don't think really I was well. fa I don't think I was favorably viewed. The rest of us had done a very Treated. bad job at working out uh, the perimeter and. Yeah. They showed a video of you working it out mathematically, really accurate. You <laughs> measured the bean, you measured the hole out, outside of the caravan, yeah. you did your sums on a calculator, yeah. you got the answer. Everyone was like, there's no way he's got that wrong. Yeah. And then Alex revealed that uh, actually you got the bean length from because yeah. you were measuring it, including the juice. And, uh, and he really stitched you up there. However, yeah. I would say that was not Greg stitching you up. That was Alex oh, okay. and the production team. Oh, okay. And Greg was not aware of it. However, okay. Okay. I don't yeah, think yeah. that Greg was actually favouring you as his friend but it, it made it more fun for us to <laughs> is that the series where you smashed up my um my gift the, at the oh, end oh let's was it, talk you about there? that jessica nappett smashed it up I think. Yeah. please let's talk about i mean it was a moment up. although barry this might have to not make the edit because like <laughs> i have always wondered i there was so many questions i had so off the back questions. of that i've got nothing to hide I this can this can make the edit i've got nothing to hide oh, no i couldn't get answered because Go on. here's so for the people who are not familiar with it, Barry, I'm assuming you haven't watched <laughs> that series of Taskmaster, but like there was a, a week where we had to bring in worst gift from a relative and Rod brought in uh, a really ugly, disgusting, uh, like, uh, it's horrendous. It's horrendous. was it China? It's, Stay put, yeah, I'll like, get it, I'll get it, hang on. pottery, it's made out of pottery. How, how, how have you still got it? It must be smashed yeah. a bit. No, no, so no, it's no like they glued a, it, I made them glue it back holder. together. <laughs> oh, like a sculpture, like, yeah. like, a, like an ugly like a castle, castle, like ceramic kind of yeah. thing. Really disgusting. With the joke was, faces. is that... Huh? It's got cats' faces in it and weird, yeah. like <laughs> mice coming out of like weird. Um, I'll, I'll show oh, you. Is this a present you got wrong? No, 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 no. This is a present Greg bought me for my birthday. <laughs> yeah. He has a so thing. Greg he bought keeps, it for Sean. He keeps giving Sean me ceramic hated it so cats. much that she then gave it to Rod, was the was what they said. <laughs> they do what? They've done quite a good job at putting that back yeah. together there <laughs> for you. Um, so that was the that prize really you put up bad. for the prize task. Yeah. And a bit of a joke that was like, ha ha, Greg, you gave this to Sean and now she's just given it to me because it's an unwanted gift and now I've put it as the worst gift from a mm -hmm. relative. Um, 
then just nap it won the episode. And when you win the episode, you get to go on the stage with all the different prizes that everyone's put forward. And you're supposed to pose with them, do a whole bunch of stuff. And she picked up that prize. Yes. And she said to the audience, shall I smash it? And they were all saying, yeah. And obviously we're <laughs> watching audience, it thinking, no, don't, Jessica, no. well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Clearly she's not going to smash it. <laughs> and then there was a point where she went like she was about to drop it. And you and Greg both <laughs> suddenly panicked and stopped <laughs> You completely dropped personas, <laughs> and, and, and you and you both went. Please, Jess, do not drop that. <laughs> Honestly, please oh, don't drop no. it. And we're not, not 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 joking now. Please, please, please don't drop it. And, and you went, Jess. I would be genuinely upset if you break that. Uh, uh, and, and, and and Greg went, me too, Jess. Please don't do that. <laughs> at which moment I am told, and I don't know if you know this detail. Jess then looked at Alex Horn, who <laughs> no. silently nodded at her. No! <laughs> no. He's a, but that, he is a demon, Sneaky. that man. A devil. That is a true fact. <laughs> He's a devil. Had that confirmed by both parties. <laughs> no, he just nodded. So then Jess looked at one of you in the eye, you or Greg, and just <laughs> let it go. And I remember sitting there, and I could not believe what I was seeing. And it just smashed. Also, I just put up for the prize. Um, a calendar that my nephew had made me that I actually really liked. Aww. But I put it up for a joke so I could make fun of the calendar. And I instantly became scared what if she that break? she was going to... Because also my, my sister my sister was in the audience oh, who's like, mate. it was her son who had made it. And, and she said she instantly became like, oh, fuck, is Cold she going to like sweat. rip that calendar up? Like, cause you're like, <laughs> And then at one point, Jess went near the calendar and I stood up and went, Jess, please do not, please do not touch that. I actually really like it. And it was like, it's a film, a lot of confusion. And then Greg had to then go in to do his sign off and started kind of doing it and then going, sorry, I, I actually kind of can't believe you actually did that. And uh, it can was I ask like, James, yeah, Greg was really angry. Can I ask, while Jessica Knapper is on stage, effectively just, just threatening to smash things so that everybody is leaving their personas and their TV characters and just having genuine moments of anxiety. Is any of this in the show? No. So literally, <laughs> the show is, Jess goes on stage, she poses with her prizes, she picks up the um, your, your, your prize, yeah. she says, shall I drop it? Audience say yes, and she drops it and she smashes. <laughs> and then there's a close-up of it smashed. But it's like it's all been a brilliant laugh. Oh and my she's, God, and, yeah. Yeah. behind the scenes, you people know. are losing their shit. That is hilarious. Um, yeah. Greg was really, Greg was texting me going, I'm so sorry, yeah. love. <laughs> The production team after, very they kindly, glued glued, as you see, glued it back to, re- restored it to its former ugliness. I mean, it is. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it got, from what I gather, it got resolved pretty quickly. Like, because I thought, oh no, because, you know, you do two records a day. Yeah. That was our first record. I was like, oh God, we've got to do another record. And I think three of them might have just fallen out of me. <laughs> uh, I don't know how we're going to do no, but I never, like, I never, had, I realised that Jess, it was a moment of hubris, a moment of a giddy excitement, yeah. uh, and and the, and the, once she said to the audience, I, I really, she was in a corner, she had to do it. The TV cameras are on you, you've got to do something in the moment. I, I, I never, me I never well. held it against her for a second. She texted me as well saying sorry, and I was like, oh, don't worry about it. It's even funnier now that it's glued back together. Yeah. it's even worse. Yeah, you're not, I felt more sorry for I felt more sorry for Jess in the situation. Yeah. I was just like, oh god, I can see myself doing that, and then <laughs> so being like, oh, oh god, laughs. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's exactly, yeah. it's exactly the kind of thing I would have done, and then and then been mortified. But no, no, if you're listening, Jessica Nappett, you are entirely absolved of that. Just, oh, totally. Um, but <laughs> Alex Horn, on the other hand, yeah. Horn, you see. Horn is just gives Horn the is nod. The How much power Machiavellian has character in the background of all these things, <laughs> yeah. pulling the strings, yeah. pulling the strings yeah. of all of it. Bastard. Paul <laughs> it's so funny that because, you know, Greg, when Greg buys a gift, he takes it very seriously. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, I genuinely would like to, like, maybe I'll write to the Taskmaster production team and ask them, can I have the unedited version of that? <laughs> yeah, event? I'd love to see well, that. three and a half hours long, wouldn't they? Completely just dropping <laughs> your characters. It's like, you're not on TV anymore. It's just like genuinely pleading with someone not to break a really ugly tea light holder. <laughs> <laughs> is that not do they not do like an extra bits or something on that would be so yeah, funny sometimes, that. sometimes. Do, do they? I think there's an extended um, version right, right, of right. our argument on YouTube is that <laughs> yeah that's like the full which argument which one which argument the one about <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the one about the um, the satsuma uh, and you finding the satsuma in a sock 
and I've just um, oh. I've just done my hula again. Hard done by I think I was hard done by yeah them. yeah. But then I am very unfair to you because <laughs> you, you 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 have you've stood up for me in the hula hoop and against Greg, and then I completely try and destroy you the next the very next task <laughs> with the Satsuma thing and lose my mind. And then at the very end of this really long debate. Uh, <laughs> Greg says he is going to give you the points and, and, and says to me, is that okay? And I'll say, yeah, actually, it is pretty clever. And I just I completely <laughs> concede after all of that. I just had to get it out of my system, Rob. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's great fun. The twists and turns. Uh, great. It's really great emotional, fun. Absolutely great fun. And if you enjoyed that, why not listen to the whole podcast? It is The Froth, available on... iTunes, uh, iTunes Acast, Acast uh, Spotify, Spotify. Anywhere you usually get your podcasts. Wherever you usually get your podcasts, YouTube. You can like, rate, subscribe. Comment, uh, say nice things comment, about it. say nice things. And hit, hit the bell icon. Hit the, the bell icon on YouTube so that you will be alerted when the videos are uploaded. uploaded. Check it out. It is The Froth. Yesterday's, Yesterday's non-news, non-news today. today.